up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alana Pearson. I do tons of try-on hauls, lots to do with fashion, and we have a lot of fun here. So that's what we are in for today, is another fun video where I'm trying on some clothes, but this time, it's actually from a brand that I had never heard of, never tried before, so this is gonna be something a little bit different. Look at this box. Look how taped up this is, like how insane is that? I had to like dig into this thing just to figure out who it was that the box came from. We're gonna get right into the clothes. But first things first, if you could do me a favor, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications so that you know when I am posting next. I have lots of fun hauls on the way. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and we're gonna get right into some brand new clothes. The brand that I got this from is called Dromola. Dromola, Dromola. Dang, everything on here is so damn cute. So I was like, I wanna try this. And that's what we've got going on right now is a bunch of different stuff. I'm not really sure what it is, but we're gonna have some fun with it. So let's get right into the clothes. Like I said, if you give this video a big thumbs up, it really helps me. And keep track of what I am trying on because anything that you like, I would love to hear in the comments down below. You can even comment just as we go. Either or, just so that I know what we vibe with, what we don't, and all those sorts of things. All right, so getting right into it, this first thing I'm going to show you, I believe is a dress, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I got this dress in a medium. I honestly, looking at it, think I probably should have gotten a small. These sizes are a little bit bigger than I had realized. It is a stretchy dress. The material is a, it's a houndstooth dress. So you've got that nice pattern. There we go, that's how it looked on the model. It does fit quite a bit bigger than I had realized. It's not, it just doesn't hug quite the same as I was hoping. And the material is a little bit thinner than it appeared on there. I kind of thought it was going to be more of a weed sort of material. So keep in mind that it is something stretchy, but it never hurts to have something stretchy that you can wear for different Christmas parties. Something simple, throw a, throw a little black jacket over it and some high black boots and you've got a cute little vibe. So this is a cute little dress that I would definitely wear to a Christmas party. Again, it's a little bit wider than I had realized, but it's got this nice little tie. But yeah, overall it's a really cute piece. It's a great little festive winter sort of piece, holidays and everything. It would be great for holiday parties if you have some Christmas parties. I wish I had more Christmas parties to go to. I actually love them, but I just, wasn't invited to that many this year. So that sucks. I do love this dress though. I love the length of it. I like that it's a shorter dress. It's a little bit of like flirty. You could even wear this as a New Year's dress. That would be a really cute dress to wear for New Year's too. Um, and dual purpose, Christmas and New Year's together. So you can't really go wrong. So that is super cute. And I'm very happy with that piece. Next up, another little red piece. All right. This one is fun. I love this. Okay, so this one is a little red dress as well. I did think the stitching was going to be a little bit firmer on the top, but it is a lower cut, lower, like kind of sexier piece. I like that this one's a little bit more of a cherry red. The other one was a little bit brighter. Short little skirt. I actually quite like that this one doesn't have a slit because it is a little bit short and I feel like it would fly up a little bit, especially if you're somewhere chilly with a little bit of wind. So that's nice too. I like that there's the crisscross. Again, it's a little bit of a thinner material than I had expected, but it is really cute. The fabric is nice and silky. I have a little orange set. If ever you wanted to look like a pylon, this is the set for you. I actually quite like bright orange and fluorescent colors. I don't know if you've noticed, but just something different and something about like bright colors just draws attention. And I think it's just a power move. So this is a whole set. You've got the little jacket here. It's got a little bit of rouging on the sleeve, which is nice, cute. And then, oh, there's a little belt that goes with it. It's actually a very nice material. It's pretty thick. Well, I wouldn't say thick, but it's thicker than I had expected. That's what she said. <laughs> Um, just a simple little piece. If you want to have a power move, go for a colorful pantsuit set. Here we have got some, the pants to match, and they have a little bit of stretch to them, which is nice. They are actually more of a capri. Depending on where you live, they might not be ideal for winter, but could be worn. I, I would wear them for winter still. And if you want a Halloween costume, orange fits Halloween. I think this is actually, this is a total side note, but this would actually be a great Halloween costume for someone while you're in the office, like wear your little pantsuit set and just put like a little like black tape to make your little yourself into a jack-o'-lantern. That's kind of cute. I was a jack-o'-lantern this year for Halloween, so it 
that's why it's in my head right now. But I just love the power move of the color. Next up, we have this cute little zebra piece. You can never go wrong with a good animal print. This one is a really cute, simple little dress. Again, I would throw it with just some high like thigh high boots and make it into a cute little vibe. You could wear it for a work party or something because it is a bit of a higher cut. Just if you wore something over top, like a little jacket or something, it would be pretty perfect for that. Simple, light. I like that it has a bit of a double layer on the top so that if you aren't wearing a bra, you can kind of get away with it. Next up, I will show you this jacket. So I think everything I got was a medium just to make sure that it, I had the fit and I didn't get anything too small. I love the pattern of this jacket. It's more of like a windbreaker. It is a thinner puff to it. So it's good for over top of something cute. Fall, winter, spring jacket. I like the plaid that they have. I like the quilted look to it. I think that it's really cute. It's really trendy right now. And just the colors, the tans, the very neutrals are always a good call. So that's a great piece for that. Okay, so this one is a lot different than I had expected. I had kind of seen it and thought I was getting a sweater. So it is just a shirt. Keep that in mind when you are shopping. There, it's an asymmetrical shirt, which is what I quite liked. It goes around your neck and then the side goes down and it's kind of like a drop shoulder. Um, it is white and it is fairly thin. So I would definitely recommend getting a nude bra to wear underneath it. I like the length, the length is good. And the fact that it says, nope, not today, like, hello, me all winter long. So it's kind of fitting. It's definitely kind of fitting. Next up, I have got, this is a nice little blazer. Um, it's got the same sort of patterning as the jacket. You've got the nice nude tan colors with the plaid going with it. And then just some actually like gorgeous detail buttons on it. Um, it is a pretty thin blazer, so depending on what you're looking for, depending on how cold it gets, I would definitely recommend wearing something over top of it. The material is nice. It's got some give, which is nice. You could even, if you wanted to make, just like dress something up a little bit, throw leggings and a crop top and then throw a blazer like this over top and you've got a cute little look. Next up, we have got this lovely shirt here. Um, again, I quite like simplicity, but where you get to, like that kind of asymmetrical vibe. So that's what you get here because half of it has the style on it and half of it does not. Now, again, this is a little bit thinner than I was expecting. I would probably use this more as like a swimsuit cover up because that's something that I love to do is wear shirts like this as swimsuit cover ups. Throw it on with some basic black pants and that is a great vibe for work. Uh, it is a very neutral toned piece. There's not much color to it, which I actually quite enjoy. Most of my wardrobe is very neutral. So this is something that I like and yeah. And then last, but certainly not least, we have another set. So this set here is a skirt set. Um, I love the pink, as you can tell, pink is a thing for me. Uh, it's a very simple little piece. I would highly recommend wearing nude underwear under it just because it is a fairly thin material. It's got the white in it and you just don't want to have those little oopsies moments. So it's always good to wear nude under anything white that you are wearing. Nude underwear, the seamless ones are never a bad idea. Um, that way you don't get those like side bumps. I don't know if anyone else get those. Anyways, uh, there's a cute little tie on it so that you can actually cinch it into your waist. You've got this lovely little slit in the back, which is pretty cute. And then the top is this simple little piece that's got a little cinch in the middle. Um, it's actually very flattering because it kind of draws in at the right point so that it gives you a nice shape. Uh, it is a long sleeve, so perfect for the winter months. And then, yeah. And that is all I've got for you today. So let me know what you think of these Dramola looks in the comments down below. Which one is your favorite? I really love hearing from you guys. So if you want to let me know what kind of video you would like for me to do next, then I would love to hear that too. This was my first impressions of Dramola. This is the first time I've tried them on. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Other than that, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications because that's how you know when I am posting next. If you would like me to try some other brands that I've 
I've never heard of before, then please let me know because that could be a lot of fun just trying random internet brands that were new to me. Um, other than that, I hope you are all enjoying your holiday season. Make sure you do all your holiday shopping. And if you are looking to buy any of the pieces that you've seen here today, then they will be linked in the description down below. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like and I'll see you guys in the next one.